I did not engage in politics beyond the civil movement that was active early in the revolution. Politics could take you places you would not like to be. I have never dreamed of leaving the country. When the event happens, my bond to Syria grew stronger. I can help people here. Me and others like me knew we could do something. What we witnessed in Syria is horrific at all levels. The corruption, the repression, the suppression of rights, the stealing of property. But no segment has been harder hit than the women and children. I was among those who worked with different groups, social initiatives, from the first day of the protest. We started to socialize with women in the area that were hit by teaching them embroidery and knitting to allow them to rely on themselves. Newcomers came to our neighborhood and the locals started to feel they are losing their privileges. Everyone came with the story, I'm Sunni, I'm Shia, or even regional identities. These sentiments grew during the events. Since 2011, the regime have played on sectarian polarization. But our job is beyond these sectarian identities. Neutrality, here is rule number one. There was a big group of kids that were absent from school. They are our responsibility. We need to save them, take them off the street. We realized that education was becoming the most important thing. We started to gather children in houses and teach them. We were about five volunteers. They need an appropriate environment where they feel belonging. We found a very simple house, which we cleaned. We were able to buy some chairs and tables from donations. We did not have a license to operate. All our work was volunteering. We help people's return to school, and we help those who go to school but struggle. We were able to create a beautiful social atmosphere. We managed to awaken the spirit of cooperation between the peoples that has been lost. During wartime, children experience violence either outside or inside the home. We organized an open day where the children would enjoy themselves with dance and music. One little girl started to cry. We asked, why are you crying? She said, it's so loud, like the rockets and bombs. In order to compensate for the years of education lost, you have to pass on central principles to the children. We must finish two years in one. There is a lot of work, a lot of ambition. I don't know how many I'll be able to carry out, but I feel I'm on the right path. I feel that I am building stone for a stone. And I'm very happy with the team that I'm part of. Overall, I'm happy with my life. It's a drop in the ocean. Nevertheless, I think a drop is better than none. If you teach one child, then why not 200? You must teach them how to read and write, to draw, to think, music. This is the generation that will inherit Syria. We teach them how to socialize with others, how to accept the other, how to forgive, just like I was taught.